What's going on everybody? Joey Andron with Simply Vegas and the Chuck It's Group, bringing you another property tour. Today I'm here in the heart of Henderson in a neighborhood called Green Valley Estates. Now, forgive me for wearing my sunglasses, but it is extremely bright out here and I don't wanna be looking at you squinting through this whole tour. But um, here in this neighborhood, as you can see, we have beautiful, lush landscaping, tall, mature trees, and right behind these homes is a golf course which is pretty fantastic. I really like these older communities just because you get a much larger lot, meaning you're gonna get a, a bigger backyard, bigger front yard. Um, as you can see here, this house, we have a horseshoe driveway. And uh, this house, I'm really excited to show you because uh, I'm gonna be meeting my client here in a little bit and we're gonna walk through this house and we're looking at this as an investment property. Now this house is listed for 650,000. It's four bedrooms, uh, three bathrooms, just over 3,000 square feet. And I've already walked through, I can tell you it needs a complete remodel. It needs everything from top to bottom. So make sure you stick with me through this tour because I wanna hear your comments and what you guys think. So make sure you leave them below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do and hit that like button. I truly appreciate the support. All right guys, so here we go. I'm gonna turn this around and we are gonna get started. All right, we got the single story. As I mentioned, it is four bedroom, three bath, 3,000 square feet. You have a three car garage. I love the accent and brick that divides the driveway here. The accent brick that's actually on the house. Everything ties in really, really well. You have this horseshoe driveway. The street is absolutely fantastic. A lot of foliage. You have a lot of mature trees, uh, some real grass over here. And this is a golf course community. So this whole area is gonna be manicured extremely well. Uh, but here on the side, on the right hand side of the house, you have these brick pavers that take you to the backyard and you have this wrought iron double entry gate that takes you there. Uh, beautiful pine tree here. And then you also have an orange citrus tree. Now citrus trees do extremely well here in Las Vegas. So whether it's lime, lemon, pomegranate, oranges, they do really, really well. So as you can see, you have some here growing, uh, but so far what I see, um, I really like. I like the exterior of this house. It goes with the neighborhood really, really well. Here in the front, there's some artificial turf, uh, but very well maintained. Double doors here on the entry. Now these are a little bit older style doors. We could potentially paint these or maybe just leave them the way they are. Just really depends on what we're gonna do on the interior of the house. Um, most likely it's gonna be modern. So uh, we're gonna have to maybe price some doors out and uh, figure it out. But I could almost say that these doors were pretty expensive when they were first installed. Uh, here we have terracotta tile on the floor, little coat closet. Now, as you can see, everything is really brown and muted colors. Uh, but I do like this fireplace. The fireplace uh, is definitely the focal point of this house. Uh, it could be painted white, black, gray, just really depends on what style you're going for. I mean, really, you could even remove it if you wanted just to make this one great space, like one big great room. Uh, you can really take that, those rocks off and, excuse me, that wall out and just cap it um, or leave it, right? But I'll leave your comments below. I'd love to know what you guys would do with this fireplace. I almost say leave it. I think it's pretty rad. Now here you have uh, a formal dining room and this space here, you know, most people don't use formal dining rooms anymore. So you can really see the age of this house because um, it takes you right into the kitchen. So you might be able to reconfigure this kitchen and make it a little bit bigger and put a big floating island here. Maybe move the refrigerator and the stove onto this side because this is an Eden kitchen, but it would be really nice if you had countertops that went all the way around and potentially take the ceiling up right here because this is a drop to about seven feet where you can take the ceiling down and then maybe put 42 inch uh, cabinets all the way to the ceiling and remove this peninsula and just continue the cabinets over here and put a nice floating island in the center. That way it would just open the space up a lot more. Um, this is actually pretty cool. This was a patio, which they closed in, I think. I don't think this was part of the original structure. Um, you could call this a Florida room. <laughs> That's what we used to call it. So I am a, I'm from Florida, so we used to call it the, I need any screened in or an addition to the patio is called a Florida room. But here we have some more terracotta tiles and all of these windows. Like this would be really neat if you had sliders here. 
just one big open slider, maybe a 12 to 15 foot slider that takes you right to the backyard. Uh, right now you just have these windows. I don't know if you guys ever seen these, but these blinds are actually integrated in between the panes of glass, which are pretty neat. If I can get them open here. There we go. Nice big backyard. You have a bocce ball court, definitely remove that, potentially a pool. Just adds a tremendous amount of value here. I'll tell you, you don't get backyards like this in, in new homes here in Las Vegas, that's for sure. That's why I like these more mature communities. Get rid of these double doors, just open this whole wall out. We have a powder bath here. And your laundry room here. So yeah, I would just take all of this stuff out and you have your three car garage. That's your easy access door. It's going to take you all the way around to the backyard or to the front yard. But this is a full three car garage. You can definitely get three cars in here if you remove these storage uh, cabinets. I'm going to take you guys around to the primary bedroom. The primary bedroom is absolutely massive. This is one closet. So his and her closets, very, very large. Let's go into the bathroom here. They really like terracotta tile. Look at this, it's everywhere. Rip all of this stuff out. All new cabinets, countertops. And check this out, we have a jacuzzi tub. Look at this thing. So I'm gonna pop this out. I'll make this one big shower. Look how big this bedroom is. This is huge. It's gotta be uh, 20 by 25 maybe. Then you have this seating area, little office space. Again, I mean, beautiful windows, but if you had French doors or even a slider, that's going to take you out to the backyard. And if you do a pool later on, it just adds so much more uh, character and value to the house. Another bedroom here. I want to say this is a 12 by 14. You have a pretty big side yard over here as well. So you can't get out to the front of the house there. So this would be perfect for a dog run or storage because nobody sees the side of the house. Another bathroom here. So this is a full bath. You have a shower tub combination. Again, with this terracotta, geez Louise, they really love this tile. And I'll tell you, this is not easy to take up because it's all cemented in. So you really gotta jackhammer this stuff out. Another bedroom here. This was I pretty much identical to the other bedroom, but this is a very interesting corner here. Very, very close together. This is a queen size bed. Front of the house here. But this is a really neat house. I think there's a lot of value here. Uh, definitely has a lot of potential. One of the main reasons because it's a ranch style home with a tremendously large backyard. So you have a living room and a family room. but I would literally just blow this whole kitchen out, open this up, remove the refrigerator and double ovens, move them to this side of the house, open this wall up, and then you'd have this beautiful open dining area with a floating island. You could even do a bar over on this side. You could do a bar on this side so you could separate the space or maybe just leave it open. All right, let's make our way outside here. Check out this backyard. This backyard is massive. 
I love it. You have a bocce ball court that runs all the way. It's a full length of the backyard. So we definitely removed this and put in a pool. Now there are some pool restrictions here in Las Vegas now. The largest pool that you can build is 600 square feet. So this is a massive backyard, so it's gonna be a lot of decking. Uh, probably do some sort of uh, slate or maybe travertine uh, if the budget calls for it. But there's so much that you can do in this backyard. And we're really excited about this house because uh, we spent uh, some time here right now just kind of going through exactly what we would be doing. And as your mind starts going and the possibilities start running wild, uh, it gets pretty exciting. Uh, I was told that the HVAC systems here on the roof are uh, fairly new or they've been replaced uh, in the past couple of years. So that's going to save us about $15,000, give or take. But guys, if you're looking for an investment property like this here in Las Vegas, make sure you reach out to me. All my contact information is below. I not only sell new and resales, but I also represent a lot of my clients uh, when they're looking for investment properties. There's that wrought iron gate, takes you out to the front of the house. All right, guys, that is our tour for today. If you have any questions at all, or maybe you need help finding your next investment property here in Las Vegas, or maybe your primary residence, make sure you reach out to me directly. All my contact information is below. Until next time, I'll see you on the next video.